Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, I do apologise for not uploading for a while but a lot of things have been going on and there is a new layout which you might have seen in the last video so I need to do a layout update for that which will come out very soon. But for now we're going to be looking at the recently released RPA car carrier wagons from Revolution Trains. Now two variants have been released. The first being a twin pack of flat IPAs and then the other being a twin and a quad set of the curtain side wagons. The flat wagons come in both white and red STVA livery and come both with and without stakes. The curtain side variants come in the same two liveries but are available in a twin and a quad set. I have purchased the twin pack of, a, of the flat wagons and a quad set of the curtain side wagons and these will run alongside my Backman STVAs that were released many years ago. Originally built in the 1950s and 60s as double deck wagons for SNCF in France, these wagons were rebuilt in the late 80s by STVA in readiness for workings through the Channel Tunnel. When a shortage of suitable car carriers were identified, to fit the British loading gauge, the existing superstructure was removed, new side panels were fitted, and the wagons were remarshaled into twin sets, which we see today. To protect, protect the cargo from ballast shippings thrown up from the track or lines of vandals, some of the wagons were fitted with stakes to support the canvas sheeting, while others received a flexible side screen and roofs. The covered versions proved to be a success, and several dozens were converted and remarshaled into the quad sets. Their low deck height makes them ideal for transporting vans and SUVs and rapid growth in the market for such vehicles has made the wagon especially useful and this along with their sturdy constru construction has ensured their longevity. Because of the greater protection offered, the covered versions are often used for the transportation of high value vehicles by car makers including Jaguar, Range Rover and BMW. The wagons can still be found running on the network today. The main workings being from Southampton and Dagenham to areas up north such as Moss End, Halewood and Garston. And now there's a more recent flow that runs weekly from Toton down to Dollands Moor and through to the continent. So let's move on to the wagons themselves. As expected with all Revolution releases, they come very well packaged and the wagons are very securely stored in plastic sleeves within the box. The box just lifts off and makes accessing the model much easier than the older style boxes that we've come to get used to from Backman or Hornby, where you'd have to um, open the flap at, at the side and slide the model out and then potentially damage the box in the process. I can't tell you how many times I've done that myself. The wagons come with a detailing pack. This includes NEN couplings for the ends of the wagons and a more realistic looking connecting bar, which can be very easily fitted in between the twin and the quad sets. And as expected, Revolution have done a superb job in producing these. The detail on the wagons is to their usual high standards that we've come to expect. And every last detail has really been captured. The transfers on the wagon are very well printed, with even the smallest ones being very clear to read. And the red, and I assume the white as well, not that I have the white, but the red has been very well applied and it matches in really well with the already available Backman models. Even the underside detail, which we have come to expect in recent releases of modern stock, has, has been included and really adds to the realism of the wagons. And despite you not being able to see it the majority of the time when it's running on the layout, it's a nice touch of realism added to the model. The same applies with the curtain side wagons. The roof is clear just like the real thing and the curtain sides have been very well applied and there's even small creases to try and capture some realism of how the curtain would be in real life if it was running on the network. Let's move on to the price. This is a big thing that a lot of people question nowadays in the modern market. The wagons can be ordered from any of the Revolution retailers. The twin sets of the flat and the curtain side variants are £75 and the quad sets are priced at £150. In today's market, I think the value for money is definitely there. Unfortunately, the prices of everything are increasing and I think improved and more detailed models should come at a higher price. If we compare this to the, the Backman releases years ago, when the Backman car carrier came out, they retailed at 40 to 50 pounds. Now, there's not really much of an increase for a model that arguably has more detail and certainly runs a lot better. I find the Backman ones are very temperamental in how they run and they, they, they're very light and very flimsy in comparison to the well-weighted and well-detailed revolution offering. 
Plus, the Backman variants are now being re-released at a re uh, retail price of 140 to 150 pounds, and you can get four Revolution variants at that price. So I definitely think they're, they they are worth the money. Overall, I think Revolution have done a superb job on these. They look very accurate to the real things and come at a very reasonable price in today's market. The detail is superb. They run very smoothly which I will show at the end of the video and I definitely recommend buying them and will probably consider buying more in the future for myself. If you are looking to run car trains on your layout, this is definitely the avenue to go down. The Backman ones, I can't comment on the new ver um, the new versions that are going to come out, but if it's anything like older Backman versions, they'll just be exactly the same at a higher price. So I would personally choose Revolution and with the with the variations of the curtain side and the flat wagon you have two options and it gives you a bit of variation in your rake so thanks for watching the video i'll leave you with a few shots of the of, of them running on the layout please leave a comment and let me know if you've got any yourself and, and what you think of them i definitely think revolution and akira scout are like i say in all of all of the videos are setting the example for the modern market um, a lot of the re releases that are coming out i'm very excited for and i think you know despite the price the mark um the modern market is heading in a very good place let's hope we can see some units in the future thanks for watching